So day four of being a YouTuber, I thought I'd show you how to make a hurdle. This thing at the bottom is called a mould, uh, which is basically to hold the uprights in place while you weave. And these uprights are called zales. Uh, it's traditional to have like nine of them in a row. Um, you need them nice and straight so they don't interfere. Then up at the top and at the bottom you use these thin rods which are very flexible and if you twist them you can tie them into knots like this and fold them back into themselves so there's nothing poking out and it holds it all in place. So you do that down at the bottom and up at the top. And then in between that you put these split hazels. Um, so they're essentially just bigger rods that you split in half and you weave them through, they don't need tying at the end. Um, that's it really. Um, I'll show you some of the tools we use. Here's a stump I've left behind and cut to a point so that when I want to split a rod I can chop the end with a bill hook and then feed it onto this as it splits through. I might do that in a minute. And then that's just a sort of support for the ends of the rod to go on. So I'm just gonna take this hurdle out because it's finished and I might try and do a new one. So here's the back edge of it. I've taken it out of the mold um, and I'm just gonna cut these posts off. Yeah, you just knock it out of the mold with a hammer or something. It's quite easy. So I'll slice these off with the chainsaw and then it's finished. So there we are, I've got the zales in, pointed them, cut them to length and banged them in. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of little techniques I found difficult to do. Uh, I should say I'm not professional at all, this is like my fourth one. If you want to learn how to do it properly you should probably do a course, I wish I had. Um, yeah, and there's probably much better videos on YouTube because I'm just doing this to wind the kids up. Anyway, I'll show you. So, to get it to bend around the end stick. You need to twist it like this to break the fibres in the hazel. And it should bend. So the other thing I struggled with a bit to start with is this technique of splitting them. I'll show you this. You get it, put your hook bang on in the middle and then give it a tap with the hammer. There you go, you can see it's starting to make a split. Feed it onto this. Good. It starts to drift off and put it on one side. We'll keep it thick side. Sometimes. Like that. There we go, um, I've made a start, but it's time to go home because the sun is setting behind the hills and it's getting cold.